Good afternoon, um, students of Sheikh Abubakar Gumi International Academy, JS2 students precisely because I'm a teacher for JS2 taking English studies. Um, I hope you're observing um, um, you staying at home because of the coronavirus um, um, issue. And um, I hope um, you're enjoying your fast. The Allah grants um, our request in this season, inshallah. And um, from our previous um, previous topic that I taught you on grammar, present perfect tense, I hope you learned something. I have not gotten feedback from you. I'm still expecting feedback from the last um, topic I taught you on present perfect tense. Now, quickly today we are looking at um, intonation, intonation, okay, intonation. More precisely, we're looking at what falling intonation falling what intonation now what is the meaning of intonation intonation describes how the voice rises and falls in speech how the voice what rises and what and fall in speech now intonation describes how you was how your voice is placed whenever you are talk whenever you are talking is that clear when your voice when it describes how your voice is what is placed whenever you are what talking like for example, if you are angry, your voice changes. If you are given a command, your voice changes. Is that clear? So intonation describes what how the words, how the voice rises and falls in words in speech. That is, it is about how we say things. How we words, how we say things. The way the voice rises and when and, and falls when we words, when we speak. Is that clear? like I said earlier, remember that whenever you are angry, your voice changes. Now I'm talking normal now. I'm not angry. My voice what will change. Unlike when I say, what is wrong with you? Now you can see that what the voice has what has changed from the normal word voice. Is that clear? Now, um, the, um, in, uh, in intonation, the three main pattern, the three main pattern of intonation in English are what? One, falling intonation. Again, falling what intonation. You can see the arrow words down. Now, we have arrows words telling us which of the intonation we are talking about. Is that clear? Now in brackets I have what falling. The arrow is what is down. Falling words intonation. Now number two we have rising intonation. Number two again rising words intonation. Can see the arrow what up? The arrow is what is facing what up. It means what your voice when your voice is what is high when you are talking when your pitch is high when you are talking. Now number three we have what rise and fall what intonation now let me tell you something i know most of you are more familiar or more conversant with the two information i mean intonation which is what the falling intonation and the rising what intonation now i've added what three especially we have what we have three basic what pattern of intonation is that clear the number one the falling intonation two rising intonation and what rise fall what intonation now you can see in brackets you can see the arrow was showing the words how the voice what goes. Falling intonation is what is coming down. And number two, rising intonation is what is going up. And your voice, your, your pitch, the level of your voice or your tone is what is going up. Number three, we have the what the fall rise what intonation. That this one is where what the voice either goes down or what or up at the same time in a what in a sentence or a what or a, or a given what speech. Is that clear? Now let's go back to our main topic, which says what the falling intonation. The falling word intonation. Now falling intonation describes how the pitch of the voice falls at the end of a sentence. I take it again. Falling intonation describes how the pitch. The pitch here means what your voice or your tone. Is that clear? How you can say you can say how the pitch, how the how your tone. Or how your voice of how your voice of the words of the excuse me falling intonation describes what how the pitch of the voice falls at the end of a sentence at the end of a sentence it means that what the uh, this the arrow here always what is always indicates towards the fall of the voice at the end of a sentence or at the end of a word of a given speech exactly now falling intonation is the most common intonation pattern in English. Is the word is the most common intonation pattern in, in words in English. It is commonly found in statements. In what statements? Command. W H what questions? Question tasks and what and exclamations. 
I'll take it again. Falling intonation is the most common intonation pattern in English. It is commonly found in statements, command, WH questions, question tags and what and exclamation marks. An exclamation rather. Now here we have statement. Let's look at each word, each examples. Exactly, each word examples. And please take note of the words of the of the arrows. Exactly of the word arrows at the end of each word sentence. Alright now. On that statement, we have what's nice to meet you. Nice to what to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now this is a word, a sentence. Just this normal way we want we see persons and we talk to the person. Exactly. Nice to what to meet you. Now look at the arrow here facing what down. This is the word, the end of the sentence, which is what you. Nice to meet you. Exactly. Remember, let me take you back to the meaning of this. Following intonation describes how the pitch of the voice falls at the end. Are the words at the end of a sentence? Is that clear? That is why you have the words. We have the arrow words at the end of each word here. Is that clear? Now number two, I will be back in a minute. I will be back in the words in a minute. Now look at the words. The arrow also facing words down. On which word? On what? On the last word, which is what? Minute. Number three, Dad wants to change his car. Dad wants to change his words, his car. Now, please take note of my voice here. Now we are dealing with what, with how our voice what is whenever we are talking. Exactly. Now, Dad wants to change his car. I'm talking what normally. Exactly. My voice is not harsh. My voice is not in the commanding tone. Exactly. Now, Dad wants what to change his car. Now, B, we have what command. Now, command. Now, Dad, look out the way my voice will go on this one now. Write your name here. Write your name here. Now I'm giving the command. I'm issuing the command to what to, 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 to someone. Is that clear? And with command, you know definitely the person was want to what, do the action quickly. Is that clear? Write your name here. Now look at the the, the what the um the arrow also was facing what's down. But remember, this one is what is a is a what is a commanding tune. Is that clear? It's a commanding words too. Number two, show me what you've written. Show me what you've written. Show me what you've written. Exactly. I'm giving the words also what a commanding tone here. All right. Also, the uh, uh, arrow facing down. All right. Number three, take that picture down. Take that picture down. Sometimes when you give a commanding tone, also the, the expression will also was show your face. Take that picture down. Is that clear? All right. All right, here we have the word, the WH word questions. WH question, which has the words, the what, the where, the who, and the what, and the how. All right, here we have number one, what country did you come from? Now also, this one, when you are saying this kind of word, um, 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 statement or question, is in a word, in a mild word tone. It can be in a mild tone or a word, or in a commanding tone. It goes with either way. Exactly. What country are you um what country do you come from? You can also say what country do you come from? It depends on the what on the on the uh, uh, on the context of the sentence. Exactly. What country do you come from? And look at our arrow. Please always take note of the arrow because our main focus here is what is falling words intonation. Number two, we have which of them do you prefer? Which of them do you what prefer? Number three, how many books have you? How many books have what have you? Here we have question tags. Question what tags? Question tags. Here we have, he thinks he's so clever, doesn't he? Now remember that question tag is what? It's a short statement you write at the end of a statement. A short what statement you write. It can be a statement or a word or a question. Is that clear? It says, um, you will write at the end of a word of a statement. He thinks he's so clever, doesn't he? Two, so I failed the test. I feel the test, sorry, I feel the test because I didn't revise. I feel the test because I didn't was revised. Did I? Did I? All right. Now we have what exclamation. Exclamation comes with what is surprises. So like it's, it comes with what with, with, with surprises. All right. Here we have how nice of you. How nice of you. What a beautiful word, voice. What a beautiful word, voice. Here we have what um, our teaching material, which shows what uh, um, all the words, all the 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 the, the types of words of um, falling intonation. Here we have now. Remember, this is the word. This is the arrow. Okay, showing words, showing the down arrow. All right. Here we have.
We should work together more often. We should work together more often. Here is what is a statement. Is that clear? Number three, have leave it on the decks. Leave it on the desk. It was a command. A commanding word soon. Number three, we have whose bag is this? Whose bag is what is this? It's a question. All right. Number four, what a beautiful word voice. What a beautiful word voice. Exclamation. Now, this is your home phone. Home phone, that's your homework or assignment, whichever you want to call it. Now, write five sentences each on falling intonation, showing statements, command, WH question, question, signs and words, and exclamation. Write five sentences. It means that on that, um, on that statement, you give me five sentences. On that command, you give me five sentences. Also, on that uh, um, question, and uh, WH question, five sentences, question, tags, and words, and exclamation, and, and, and exclamation, rather. Is that clear? I need what five sentences each. Is that clear? Please write them and let me get your feedback. Um, uh, uh, on on your um, assignment, is that clear? My number is zero eight zero seven eight nine three three six two one. Again, zero eight zero seven eight nine three three six two one. That's my WhatsApp number. Please, I would love to get feedback from you. Thank you.